Hi guys, welcome to this huge garage transformation. In today's video, I'm sharing garage organization ideas. We do have a one car small garage. So I'm sharing all of the ideas and storage hacks to help you organize your garage and how you can get it from crazy, messy, chaotic, and disorganized to nicely organized with some of the garage storage ideas that I'm sharing in today's video. And if you're new around here, my name is Carla and this is Carla Sweet Life. I love sharing cleaning and organizing videos. It is totally my jam. I love it all. I love all of the organization. And also I will be sharing tips along the way to organize your small garage to get it nicely organized. And make sure to stay to the very end so you can see this huge garage transformation and get all the tips to organize your garage. If you enjoy organizing and decluttering videos, I will leave some down below in the description and make sure to stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And let's go ahead and get started with this huge garage transformation. No, no I'm not yours. So why you? Trying to hold on to hold on when I'm not so first things first is just getting everything and anything you can off the floor. We had some Pokemon cards. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any kids or if you have collected Pokemon cards in the past. I'm sure this is a huge memory for some of you guys, but yeah, we had a ton and my son had them out playing because they play with kids and they were trading and all that fun stuff. So first things first was clearing the bottom of your garage and then I'm going to go into getting things that don't even belong in here next so first things first get whatever you can off the floor and then for my second tip it's just getting things that don't belong in the garage and get them out of here so you can get to the stuff that needs to be organized in the garage all right, and continuing on with my second tip, and I'm using some hot dish soap here, and this crib, okay, so this is one of the things that does not belong in here, obviously, but we were storing it here for a little while, but you guys, get those things that don't belong in here and get them where they need to be, whether they're being donated or in the house, and just doing a quick clean here with that hot soapy water. We do have a little newborn, so this is his crib. It's a hand-me-down, and so I'm just giving it a quick wipe down, but thorough. And we are a military family and the family that gave us this crib, they're also a military family. So these stickers can be found everywhere. <laughs> if you know, you know. So hear me out for a second. We are a family of six. So rather large in my opinion, but I wanted to share that because our garage is a one car small garage. And so yeah, there is a bunch of toys. There's a bunch of tools just because, you know, hubby loves things. He loves car detailing very much. And then we have all of the toys and just messy, chaotic life that happens so it was time to get this really organized but as you see it's just a one car garage all right so now we are in the garage and as you can see it is just a disaster in here so we're gonna tackle this we're gonna get some shelves put in for more organization and take it from there but there's just stuff everywhere i want to get a pegboard for all of their nerf guns since they play with them outside with friends 
So we will actually be buying a pegboard to hang all of the Nerf guns because they do play with them outside with friends and we just thought they're just kind of laying around. I did make them work for right now and I'll share later in this video what we did with them. But my next tip to getting your garage organized is getting rid of all the trash that is not necessary. You see me here placing items in the trash bag just to get all those little bits and pieces out of here. There was bigger pieces as well. And you see me here, mom life, baby. So my husband started to put up these wall shelves on this wall. So my next tip for a one car small garage organization idea and for storage that is using the walls and use that vertical space for storage. So we got these wall shelf storage racks from FlexiMount. They did gift these to us and it's pretty much additional storage space for everyday items. They were easy to install one person job. My husband did it really easily and it came with all the great hardware included for wood studs and concrete walls. In order to keep them secure, they come with Velcros to prevent from falling and they have a large high loading capacity and also have many different configurations, which is awesome and really just such a space saving organizing idea. And they are sold on the FlexiMount website and also on Amazon if that's easier for you. If you're watching this in time, which I hope you are, on March 13th, they have a one day flash sale where they have 20% off, which is such a great deal for these great quality items. So I will have everything linked down below in the description if you're interested in these shelves, but they also have other garage shelving systems if you need to look into these. No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd take you long though to put the put it up on the wall, right? Yeah. These are anchor holes? Just pile up holes. So that when you uh, go to screw in the bolt, you can flip the wood. So while my husband is finishing installing those and putting some of his items on those shelves, it is time to organize all of the like items together. So that is my next tip. Here is when we're going to organize like all the Nerf guns together, all of the scooters together, all of the bikes, etc.
So my next tip is to get some wall storage for all of the the balls, the tennis racks, the baseballs, the backpacks. This storage system is so cool and such a great way to organize all the items. We can organize some Nerf guns for the meantime. So this is where I'm letting them hang out for the meantime until we get that pegboard. And then we have scooters on here. We have a lot of items on here and it's getting it off the floor. And that is like my main point to this. We tried to use the vertical space, the space on the walls to get things off the floor because some of the things obviously we can't hang so we did everything we could to get things off the floor to minimize the clutter as much as possible Let's quickly talk about tools because we are in the garage. A lot of people store their tools in the garage. My husband does, and this took us a long time to get that. I think it's Cobalt on the very corner where my husband's at right now, and he stores all of his tools there. I'm actually gonna be organizing that area for him. He like asked me to help him to organize it, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I will be organizing it in a future video, so if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned but my point to the tools is just do what you can we had a very small tool bin for a very long time and then recently he just got that probably in the last year so we haven't had it that long but we are so grateful for it it is great for organizing all of his tools that he has accumulated over the last 10 years so next I'm just folding all of his towels. He loves to clean cars and get them really detailed really well. You'll see a lot of his inventory and products are car detailing items. So he uses them to clean the outside and then the inside, like the orange ones are more dirtier and he uses those for the outside. I asked them why they were so dirty, but that's why. And they're clean. He actually uses a specific microfiber detergent for them. So if you're interested and need that link, I will try to remember to leave it linked down below if you're interested, but they are just really awesome. The detergent makes a huge difference. So I'll be organizing this and just, I love, love color coordinating these and making them like nicely into the rainbow. So you'll see that here in a moment. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, me way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into So not only is this area just functional It's actually aesthetically pleasing as well This speaks my love language I love doing this whenever I can So functionality and it looks pretty A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want so I wanted to share this garage storage idea. If you have a lot of cleaners and sprays for whatever reason, like I said, my husband uses all of these for cleaning the vehicles, but I just color coordinated these. But all he did was use like a cheap curtain rod and hung these up. Like how easy can that be? He recommends using a smaller rod. So the smaller spray ones, with the smaller spout they will fit better on the curtain rod I want you more. 
And stay tuned very shortly for the before and after transformation. All right, here is the final look and so much better. It's a garage. There's stuff in here. We live here very much. We got four kids, so there is a lot of stuff, but it's in an organized manner. It's an organized chaos. So on this side, we have all of the kid items besides my husband's like golf, but we have all of the kids items, which I believe this might be flexi mount as well. It was a really awesome sponsored video. And as you see, like it is such a good one. But yeah, we have all the bikes, all of the trailer bikes, bikes over here. And this is like all my husband's stuff look how good this looks oh my gosh so yeah it's like tools and microfiber cloths and he's got a cart for like cleaning the cars a lot of these items are for cleaning the car inside so i did this side was for outside and then this is the inside cleaning supplies so he's got quite the inventory but it's as organized as it'll be for now. And then we got all of the outdoor tools on this side. So it's organized chaos. <laughs> and then we have all of the extension cords that he has done that to organize them here. And then we have like the baby gates. We got a chair to like hang out once it's warmer out here. But wow, what? A transformation. Oh, this looks so good. It just looks awesome. I'm so happy with this. Wow. Babe, this looks so cool. <laughs> All the stuff you've organized over here. And the reason why we have two deep freezers on two different places is because it needs to be on two different outlets because of, because of why? because it draws so much power. So we researched, or my husband did. And these are the only items we got rid of. Like we're tossing that and we're tossing this basket and everything else is trash. Well, not that bad, but yeah. And here is the huge before and after. Really went through a huge transformation by organizing all of the like items together, placing as much as we could up on the walls just because it is a one car small garage. I hope you guys got some ideas to organize and store all the items in your garage. Let me know down below in the comments if you'll be using any of these ideas and save this video, share this video. If you think someone will find it helpful, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. I have some bloopers here at the very end. Then we got Abigail and Carter. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, my big boy. Oh goodness, my big boy. Hi. You wanna say hi? Say hi. You wanna see yourself? Say hi. <laughs> you wanna go for a walk? Sure. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we'll just And we're going for a walk. We're going on a walk. <laughs> Abby, we're gonna donate that chair, baby. <laughs> Someday. Someday I'll donate it. Okay. Come to take Abby with you. Hi, Bridges. Oh, okay, that's, I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna just finish that. Hi, Mitchell. Good to go, baby. No.